Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Transformers Masterpiece Soundwave Hasbro version. In front of us. Masterpiece Soundwave was originally released by Takara in Japan with a single pack in cassette, just like the G1 version. It was soon followed by two additional two packs to complete the roster of five cassettes. Hasbro, looking to provide a unique version of the product and to justify the price to the US market, decided that the US release would include all five of the cassettes as pack ins, an announcement that was received by US collectors as quite possibly the greatest and most obvious decision ever made in the history of toys. The 29 year wait between 1984's G1 and 2013's Masterpiece paid off. Masterpiece Soundwave and the associated cassettes are marvels of modern transforming toy technology. The Masterpiece cassettes are the exact same size as the G1 cassettes, which makes it easy to compare the two and see just how much has changed since the beginning. The improvements in design, manufacturing, and surface decoration are incredible. No more peeling decals, everything is painted on. There's no more die cast, but even if you notice, you won't miss it. Where the G1 cassettes have snap-on weapons that were easily lost, the Masterpiece cassettes have weapons that are structurally incorporated into both modes. Somehow, the mechanics of the transformations enhance the appearance and articulation of the bot modes, and also perfectly hide those weapons in alt mode. Look, there's always been a degree of viewer cooperation when it comes to accepting the differences in size changes and relative mass between robot and alt modes on the cartoons, but this crosses the line. This isn't the cartoon. This is the real world. This isn't toy design technology. This is arcane wizardry. This is the dark arts. Accessories abound in this box set. Not only are you getting all five cassettes, not only are you getting Soundwave's signature laser missile gun, but you're also getting ground and pound attachments for Rumble and Frenzy, an Energon cube that fits into Soundwave's chest, clear plastic snap cases for all five cassettes in alt hand sensor thing, and a tiny in scale Megatron in gun mode. As beautiful as this figure, as these figures are, as much as Soundwave's double hinged elbows and rotating waist, his individually articulated fingers, and his ability to hold three cassettes in his chest at once are plastic dreams made real, there's no getting around the fact that Soundwave transforms into a piece of dead technology. As someone who grew up using a Walkman and all manner of cassette players, it's perfectly understandable that I cannot divorce myself from the idea of Soundwave as a cassette player and his minions as mini cassettes. The original intent was that Soundwave's alt mode was 1-1 one, one scale. He was supposed to be mistaken for an actual cassette player in real life. But as kind as the 29 years have been for how he looks and transforms, those years have rendered his alt mode, more than any other Transformer in the line, utterly obsolete. The only place Soundwave could fool anyone with his alt mode would be at a flea market surrounded by CRT monitors and telephones. As much as I love this figure and was excited to add it to my collection, it's hard for me to admit that Soundwave is the most beautiful anachronism that has ever been created. Hasbro has tried to move away from the cassette player, reinventing Soundwave as a car or a satellite, but for G1 purists, for old people. only a cassette player feels right. As an anniversary figure, as a tribute to the original line, that this apex of Transformer toy evolution would retain its outdated alt mode is ironic, don't you think? I cannot recommend this figure enough. It is truly a masterpiece in every sense of the word. Transformation, articulation, paint applications, accessories, posability, all are the tip top upper echelon. Five stars, two thumbs up, run, don't walk. This is a must have, so if you see it, I'm serious. I'm not joking. If you see it, buy it. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector.